It used to be so easy. Immigration was a source of cheap, sturdy labor, perfect for nation building. Immigrants were generally poor, uneducated peasants for whom the hardest life in Canada was better than the life they had known. When we moved here, we thought of having the opportunities of making change in our life. What uh, I was thinking when, uh, when I was in India, that uh, if I will go in Canada, then I will get uh, a good opportunity over there. Together we built a veritable Garden of Eden, a country known for its tolerance, fairness, and equality of opportunity. We have developed in Manitoba a remarkably tolerant society, and we should be proud of it. But is Canada really as welcoming as we like to think? Or is our tolerance of immigrants reserved for those who come here to take the jobs that no one else wants? They don't like us, the Canadians. Why they are inviting us here? But it didn't happen with me, so it, it feels that uh, it's better to stay back in country rather than to come here. If, if I have to drive a cab here. While most Canadians continue to see their country as the land of opportunity, many foreign professionals who have taken up residence and citizenship in this country are finding reason to question that. Since I didn't have Canadian experience, uh, my chances were very slim to have the opportunity to show what I can do, what skills do I have. So I guess that was something that I didn't expect, that that chance wouldn't be there. Yes, I expect to have some opportunities, but uh, really the, I can't, I didn't find, I didn't find those opportunities. Across Canada, immigrants who have been selected and in some cases recruited because of their credentials and experience find that little value is put on these qualifications once they arrive. The expectation is that they will immediately be able to do whatever it was they were doing in, in a home country is not only unrealistic, it's very unlikely in almost any profession. They discover innumerable hurdles blocking acceptance into their professions even while many professions complain about shortages. I don't think it's an injustice. It's a, uh, I guess it's reality of the system. Canada's failure to recognize the credentials of many internationally trained professionals represents a lost opportunity to improve the quality of life of all Canadians. But more than that, it exposes a blind spot in our collective vision of Canada. Because if you can say to someone and mean it that you will be truly welcome here, that you will be able to take root in the freedom of Canada and in the freedom of Manitoba to be the best you can be, then that, I think, is a pretty effective sales position to take. For many of the most highly trained immigrants, Canada, the land of opportunity, is simply a mirage. Sometimes I feel that I was better in, uh, in my country. I can tell you, if you're professional, if you're enjoying your life, stay where you are. Some people, they say, you know what, this is the 21st century slavery. 